Hi and welcome to this tutorial on installing sounds on the Alesis Fusion. Uh, this little video has been uh, put together by myself, Rob Pericelli, also known as the Failed Muso and part of the Hollow Sun team. One of the most common support calls we get at Hollow Sun and one of the most uh, frequently posted items at any of the Fusion forums is I've installed my sounds and I cannot find them. And so this video hopefully will address the main cause of that problem. There can be a number of other causes, but this one always seems to pop up as being the most common one. So we've put this little video together for you so uh, you can avoid hopefully the common error and save yourself a bit of time and a bit of stress. First of all, we need to acquire some sounds, and so we're going to go to that world famous, wonderful website full of free fusion sounds, uh, the Hollow Sun website, hollowsun.com. And I'm already here at the free downloads page, and I'm going to choose my favorite free pack that we've got there, the Emulator 2 free pack. And we're just going to download that to my hard drive. And stick it on my desktop. Okay, whilst we're waiting for that to download, it's just uh, worth pointing out at this stage that this following process is purely for the PC. Do not do this on a Mac. Okay, I'll say it one more time. Do not do this process on a Mac. The reason being is that this process on a Mac will render your Fusion hard drive wiped clean. Okay, It will wipe everything except the new stuff that you put on, which I guess is something you probably won't want to do. So, I will say this once more, this is a PC only process. The Mac process is slightly different and we'll cover that in another tutorial video. Right, our sounds have downloaded, so let's just minimize the browser here. Locate the archive, just open that up, and we should see inside there the HS3 Pack 06 folder. Let's just put that on the desktop. Okay, that's there. Shut the archive down. We can get rid of that now. And let's just open up the free pack folder, and we should find in there a folder called Volume. And let's just open that and stick that on the desktop, and we can get rid of this. Okay, so we now have this Volume folder, which contains the uh, component parts that will give us the sounds that we've just selected. So in the programs folder we've got the E2 folder that contains the programs. In multi samples we have the E2 folder that contains the multi samples and then we have the samples folder just there. Okay. Now what we want to do is place the contents of this volume folder into the contents of the Fusion's uh, hard drive. So let's just locate the Fusion's hard drive. Now I've already connected it via USB, so if I open up my computer, I will see it here as a hard disk drive, and open it up. And we are now at what we call the root level okay, of the Fusion's hard drive. That is the very base level. Okay, it contains two folders, clipboard and volume. The volume folder is the key uh, to this issue. What normally happens when we encounter this issue is that people have taken the new sounds in their new volume folder and dragged and dropped it into the volume folder on the Fusion's hard drive, like so. Now, Windows and Fusion are going to let you do that. And if you open up the volume folder, you'll now see that there is the volume folder within the volume folder. And this is the problem. The Fusion is very specific about its file structure. If you deviate from it, you are going to encounter problems, most of which will be the invisibility of your sounds, patterns, mixes, audio, etc. The Fusion doesn't know to look for a volume folder within the volume folder. It only knows to look for these seven folders, audio, mixes, patterns, samples, songs, multi-samples, and programs. So let's get rid of this. That's what you shouldn't do. Now then, we can do this the long convoluted way and if I just uh, size that over there and pop this on that side of the page and we'll just open up this volume folder which is the uh, free pack volume folder and we'll just resize that so we can see these both on the screen at the same time. You'll notice that uh, the free pack uh, volume folder contains three folders, multi samples, programs and samples. And those three folders are also contained on the Fusions volume folder. Now we can either drag and drop those three folders 
into here and overwrite the existing ones and all you're going to do is simply add the contents of these ones over here to these folders over here you're not going to delete anything you could if you wanted to be really meticulous simply copy the contents of each of the folders over but there's a much simpler way and that is we take the Fusion's hard drive back to its root level just here and we take this new volume drive and we drop it into the root level of the Fusion and we will get the warning message you're going to overwrite stuff okay because it contains a folder that's already called volume but all we could potentially overwrite are uh, files and samples that already exist with exactly the same names if the names don't match or they don't exist on the Fusion's hard drive already they will simply be added they will not delete or remove anything of at all okay so let's just press yes to all and that's going to stick the contents of the volume folder we got from the HS3 pack into the volume folder here so now if I open up that volume folder let's just resize that again so we can see that clearly maximize it on the screen so we have those seven folders still we don't have a volume folder within the volume folder what's happened if we go and have a look in the samples folder is that the E2 folder is sitting there okay the same has happened for programs just there and also for multi samples okay so that is all that has happened we have just added those folders in and that is all you have to do as you see it's a really simple process but if you get it wrong then you're going to cause yourself some headaches so what remains to be done to make sure that these sounds appear in your fusion first of all you need to unmount your fusion from your PC and with the latest versions of Windows XP and Windows Vista all you simply need to do is just close the window down and unplug the USB from the computer directly. Windows will then safely unmount the hard drive. With other operating systems and certainly older versions of Windows, uh, Windows you might need to actually choose an unmount option. But most of the time with, uh, with the modern versions of Windows it's all hot swap and, and hot pluggable so you just un, uh, unhook your drive from the USB port. Fusion will just uh, reorder itself and uh, away you go. And what you need to do on your Fusion now is go to the items uh, function which is uh, in the global main function so on the left hand side of your panel choose the global button and then choose item you then need to do a proper verification process and that means you highlight the folders that you've updated so if we put in stuff that f came from programs multi samples and samples we highlight those three folders and we verify and then what you need to do is to go into each of one of those folders so open up the programs folder and locate the E2 folder uh, as we had in our example here highlight that and verify it do the same in the multi samples the same in the samples wherever you've added folders verify at all levels okay that's just a safe cover all method to make sure that fusion is absolutely aware that you've added all these new folders once you've done that you can then go to your program setting or wherever you want to select your sounds from and your new sounds should show up in the instrument and it's happy days because you can then play your brand new sounds okay well I hope that's been of uh, some benefit to you if you have any further questions or problems the best place to go is the fusion club online now that exists at http colon forward slash forward slash fusioneer dot proboards 102.com go to that site and there are plenty of people and plenty of places to place your questions and ask uh, people to help you with your problems I'm there all the time, Steve from Hollow Sun is also there too, and many, many other very helpful Fusion users. Hope you found this of some use, and if you've got any suggestions for other tutorial videos that we can do for you, please leave some messages on the board, and I'm sure that we'll be able to do that for you at some point. Thanks for listening, hope that's been of some help, and we'll see you again soon. Happy playing with your Fusion. Bye-bye.